Christina, can you just quickly fill us in around why you decided to reach out and why you kind of took that leap to start working with me in the first place? What was going on? What, what did you feel like you were struggling with? What made you feel like, you know what, I, I want to do something to make my life better? Actually, I don't know what was going on. I think on the first call, you were asking me like, you know, what kinds of things are you looking for? And I said, I don't know, but whatever I'm feeling now, I just don't want it anymore. You know, so I, I, I guess it's like, you know, and you've told me before, it's like that deep calling to come home. I really, now that makes sense. You know, eight, eight months later, I totally get what that means, but I guess that's what I was feeling before. And with great recommendations of my friends, you know, they love working with you. And even from the DMs, Lillian, I knew that I would love working with you. This is the one for me. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, what you feel like really started making the difference for you? Because the thing is, like you said, you don't even really know why you wanted to start working with me, but you were like, I just didn't like the way I was feeling. If you could name that now, could you name some of those feelings? It's like an emptiness just floating around, no intention. I think mm. that's the one. What do you feel like started really making the difference for you when you first started doing the work with me? Everything you recommended, I would try. Like when you wake up, chug 24 ounces of water. And I never did that before. And so, you know, at first it's really hard, but then it gets really easy. And then now I think back and I'm like, how did I live? Like, 30 plus years of my life, not drinking as much water as I have been, right? So even like small little things, it's really just trusting the process. You make everything so easy. And all I have to do, if I just have to follow you, I'll follow you, you know, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. So that's what you did. You just followed the process. <laughs> yeah. Your first big one was during breakthrough, right? Yes. So first of all, um, you know, I was hesitant to join at first because, you know, I was telling you like, oh, I'm still like paying off loans. I have like credit card bills, like this and that. And then you told me to watch Kiri's video who said that, you know, what was the point of waiting? And so I thought, okay, well, fuck it. Why would I wait? You know, <laughs> three weeks after that, I got an email that my company was um, in the process of getting bought out. That meant like, you know, whatever stocks I would have, they would buy out my stocks and pay cash. So I didn't know how much you had to just wait for the deal to close. So fine, you know, I, I'm expecting some amount of money. I've been at the company for three and a half years at that point. And then I finished the breakthrough and then I recommitted to legacy. And literally three weeks after I committed to legacy, the deal went through. I got my equity check uh, for 2021. I'm supposed to get a total of 70K as my stock bought out and with more. So I have more stock and as the quarters keep going and as I stay in the company, I'll still continue to not vest my stock, but they'll continue to pay me out in the in the stock that I'm owed. So I got my first buyout oh my um, and then I'm supposed to get another one at the end of this quarter. And then it's just supposed to be at the end of each quarter as I you know stay with the company. Oh my God, that is so exciting. <laughs> then from there, that was when you decided to start making all the moves and go back to Long Beach and all that stuff, right? Yeah, that's right. So be, with the payout, my partner and I, we were able to work remote. And then, you know, we talked about like, what's next for us. And it's, it's going to be purchasing a house. And I was so worried before because I thought like, I can't contribute to the down payment, but now I can. So and that's huge for you. Can you tell us like why that's like such a big deal for you? I remember when I was 20, I wrote in my journal, like big letters. I'm never moving back like home ever again. Prior to, you know, joining, I, I don't think I would have been in the place like mentally or being able to communicate or have these boundaries set or feel this good about myself to feel like, you know what, like I'm ready to move closer to my siblings, closer to my parents. And I feel like this is the right move at the right time for me. That's so amazing. Tell us about what happened actually at work recently too. This week when I had my performance review, um, Oh, so actually it's, so it's actually the director of the organization who gave me the performance review because I didn't have a manager for a long time. So even mm. then, you know, I didn't expect a raise or right. a promotion at all, but at, you know, at the end of the performance review, she was telling me like all these great things, you know, and all these great things that like are a testament to the inner work that I'm doing with you. And then at the end she goes, oh, I'm happy to tell you, like, I'm going to promote you to senior program manager. You got the highest score on your performance review, you know, that comes with a raise and like a little bonus. Um, you, you know, you'll get the numbers next week. I was so shocked. I had, I teared up because I was like, whoa, like there was no way I saw that coming. <laughs> so in a nutshell, what would you say that you now know is true based on the work that you've been doing 
what's possible results and so forth. It's just that uh, we're all so worthy of so much. Yeah. And you don't even have to try that hard. It's just, <laughs> it's just you're worthy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's it. <laughs> you don't have to oh my try God, I love you're worthy that. of it all. <laughs> I love it. You are worthy of so much and it's just not that hard. <laughs> What would you tell the folks that are on the fence, not really sure about this whole thing, you know, having doubts, any of that? Why would you limit yourself? You know, how do you know that you don't have the time to commit to do this? Or how do you know you can't do it until you just do it? I love that. Christina, this is awesome. Thank you so much for jumping on this with us. And y'all let us know if you have any takeaways. Holler at me, slide through my DMs if you want to talk about how you can get in on those easy wins like Christina and everybody else in our community. All right, y'all, we are going to sign off now. Bye. Thank you.